Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving another geometry puzzle which is pretty interesting. We have a unit square, we have two quarter circles and the green circle. We're going to try to find the radius of the green circle here given that this is a unit square which is uh, one by one. So at this point, you, if you want, you can pause the video and try the problem yourself because we're going to get into the solution now. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, make some connections here. First of all, it would make sense if we connected the centers of these circles. So let's go ahead and do that here. We'll connect these two centers. And uh, since, the, since this is a unit square, it's just going to be one by one. So the radius of the larger quarter circle is going to be one as well. And to find the smaller one, if you consider the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse is going to be root 2. So this length is going to be root 2 minus 1, which is something we're going to use in our calculations. Okay, and then we'll make the other connections, of course. Uh, we have another center here, and then we're going to go ahead and make this connection, because that's also going to be helpful. So let's go ahead and connect these two centers. And then we will, uh, we know that this is the radius, so let's call that R. Okay, and let's see what else we can do here. Uh, one of the connections that we haven't made is the larger quarter circle and the small circle. Okay, let's go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and connect these two centers. Okay, like this. And then let's see where we go from here. Okay, so since this is R, let's go ahead and make a vertical segment here so that we can use that. Uh, so let me make a dotted line here. So this is going to be R. And if I continue, this is also going to be R, whether we use it or not. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to we're gonna need to designate uh, another variable here. Let's call this length H. So this is going to be 1 minus H. Okay. So basically, we're going to be using two right triangles here to find R. One of them is going to be this one. Let me go ahead and shade that for you. And the other one is going to be this one. Okay. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem in those two triangles and then use that as a system of equations to solve for R. Okay. That's basically the outline of our solution. Okay. Let's start with the top one. Uh, and of course, if this is R, this is going to be, this length is going to be 1 minus R, as you know, because it's a unit square. I mean a circle. Yeah, it's a unit square. I said it first, this first time. Okay, so let's see where this takes us. First of all, uh, we have 1 minus R squared plus 1 minus H squared is equal to... Now, what is the hypotenuse here? Of course, this is R and this is 1, so it's going to be 1 plus R. So that's going to be 1 plus R squared. That's the first relationship. And the second one is going to be R squared. And so how do we write that? We're going to write it as R squared plus H squared is equal to the hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse here is root 2 minus 1 plus r. Okay, so I can write that as r plus root 2 minus 1 squared. Okay, all right, so we have these two relationships. We're going to go ahead and simplify each one of them. Now, the first one, I can just isolate 1 minus h squared in this one. And I can also write it as h minus 1 squared, which makes more sense, right? Let's go ahead and do that. And if you subtract, as you know, if you subtract 1 minus r squared from 1 plus r squared, it's always going to be 4r. So this is going to give us a really nice relationship. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. If I square root both sides, I'll be getting h minus 1 is equal to 2 root r, but with the plus minus sign here. Okay, so this is going to give us two solutions. h is either 1 plus 2 root r or 1 minus 2 root r. Now, you might be thinking, well, the quantities are supposed to be positive, so let's go over the first one. But you got to be careful here. h is less than 1, right? Because 1 minus h needs to be the length. So we can't take this. The first one is actually can't be taken. So h is actually this one, the second one, okay? 
So we know that h is equal to 1 minus 2 root r. From the second relationship, let's go ahead and simplify that. If I square the right-hand side, I'll be getting r squared plus h squared is equal to r squared plus, I'm going to write it as, so I'll take this as a quantity and use the formula for a plus b squared. That's going to give me 2 times root 2 minus 1 times r plus root 2 minus 1 squared, which I can write as, or I can just write it this way first and then simplify next. Obviously, the h square, r squared is going to cancel out here. So let's see us, where this goes. h squared is equal to, this quantity can stay the same. I don't need to do anything. But this one can be expanded, and that's going to be 2 minus 2 root 2 plus 1, and that's equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. Okay? So, this is the expression that I have for h squared. Now, we have h squared and we have h. So, what we can do now is, from these two relationships, we can actually solve for r. So, it makes sense if I can replace h with something, because I'm trying to solve for r. I don't really care about h. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and replace h with 1 minus 2 root r here. So, it's going to look like this. 1 minus 2 root r squared is equal to 2 times root 2 minus 1 r plus 3 minus 2 root 2. Okay, so this is the equation I need to solve for r. Of course, r needs to be less than 1 as well, and we're going to look into that later. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand the left-hand side. It's going to give me 1 minus 4 root r plus 2 root r quantity squared. That's going to be 4 r. Okay. And on the right-hand side, we have some terms that contain r. So we're going to be subtracting it. So let's go ahead and write it as this. And just keep that term as well. Okay. Now, I want to get everything on the same side, obviously. And I have some radicals. So at this point, I can go ahead and do the following. Uh, I can just designate r to be... I can just go ahead and designate r to be... Uh, square root of r to be a variable and then just go from there or uh, I can just uh, go ahead and isolate square root of r and then square both sides okay either one uh, we're going to end up with two solutions so let's go ahead and isolate for root r here so that means I'm going to collect everything on the left hand side let's go ahead and do that so I have 4r plus 1 and then I'll be subtracting this I'll be subtracting this quantity and then, uh, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. So let me go ahead and do this. I want to keep the 4R here. So let me go ahead and leave that. No, actually, that was right. Never mind. Okay, I'm confusing myself here. So I'm doing the right thing. So I want to keep the 1 plus 4R here. 1 plus 4R. And then bring this here to the left-hand side. And obviously, I want to bring everything to this side. So it's going to be negative 3 plus 2 root 2. And on the right-hand side, I'm only going to have 4 root r. Okay? So let's go ahead and simplify the left-hand side a little bit more so it looks a little nicer, you know. Uh, we have a 4r here. So we're going to be subtracting the coefficients. Let's see what this, that gives us. 4 minus 2 root 2 plus 2 times r. And then I have... 1 minus 3, which is a negative 2, and 2 root 2. So I can write it as 2 root 2 minus 2. Okay? And that should equal 4 root r. Let's go ahead and add like terms here. I'll get 6 minus 2 root 2 multiplied by r plus 2 root 2 minus 2 is equal to 4 root r. Okay? So at this point, I'm going to be squaring both sides again. Okay? because I want to get a quadratic in R, and that's pretty much one, uh, the only way to do it. So if you square both sides, we're gonna, this is, you can treat this as a sum, okay? Put these together and put these together. So we're gonna be squaring A plus B, so the first term is gonna be A squared, right? Plus two AB, so two AB is gonna be two times this, times this, okay, 
times r, of course, yeah? And then plus b squared, which is 2 root 2 minus 2 squared, okay? And on the right-hand side, I'll be getting 16r. That's an easy thing to do, okay? Now here, uh, I have... Um, Actually, I forgot to R, do the R squared. I'm like, where's the quadratic, right? Okay. So we're supposed to have this squared times R squared. There we go. Okay. So because I squared a product. Okay. So I'm going to square this. That's going to give me my R squared, right? So, um, and then uh, I'll be bringing the 16R over here. And then just expand this and solve for R at the end. Okay. This kind of looks complicated, but, you know, we just need to simplify this a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, the first term is going to give me 36 minus, if I multiply these together, that's going to be 24 root 2, plus the square, if you square 2 root 2, that's going to be 8, okay? So this is my coefficient of r squared. Now, one of, one of the things I can do that's going to be helpful is... I can just go ahead and distribute this and simplify the coefficient of r before be, before I bring the 16 over. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and I'll have a 2 in the front as well. So let me go ahead and do this. Now, how do you simplify this? Okay. I can multiply. Um, let's see which radicals we're going to be getting from here. Uh, if I multiply 2 root 2 by 6, I'll be getting 12 root 2, right? And then if I multiply these two terms, I'll be getting 4 root 2. So 12 plus 4 is going to be 16 root 2 is the radical term that I'll, I'll be getting. And then if I multiply 2 root 2 by negative 2 root 2, that's going to be a negative 8. And then I have a negative 12. So that's going to be a negative 20. Okay. So that's going to be the coefficient of r here. And then I'm going to need to square this quantity. Uh, let's square the first and second term first. Uh, that's going to be an 8 plus 2, which is 10. Okay. And then minus uh, 2 times their product, it's going to be... 8 root 2, okay? And that should equal 16r. Now I'm going to bring the 16r over here. So that's going to be minus 16r. So let's go ahead and do that. I have 36 plus 8 is 44 minus 24 root 2 r squared, okay? Then I'm going to be getting 36 root 2 here minus 40r. So that's going to be 36 root 2 minus 40r. And then I'll bring over the minus 16r. That's going to make 40 plus 16 is 56. So it's going to be minus 56r. And then plus 10 minus 8 root 2. And the whole thing equals 0. Okay. So basically, that's my quadratic equation. And it's very cumbersome, I know, to solve this problem. So I'm going to kind of uh, give you guys a break on solving this. But let's just set it up. Let's just set it up and see what it looks like. So we're supposed to be setting up the quadratic equation. It's going to look like this. Negative b, which is 56 minus 36 root 2, plus minus the square root of b squared. So it's going to be 36 root 2 minus 56 squared minus 4ac, so it's going to look like 4 times 44 minus 24 root 2 times the 10 minus 8 root 2, okay? That's going to be my minus 4ac, and all that is divided by 2a, which is 88 minus, 88 minus 48 root 2, okay? Now here, uh, the tricky part is... We just got to square really large numbers. But at the end, uh, you're going to be getting the answer as a radical where you're only going to see root 2. But I'm going to just save you that trouble. And because I've already done the calculations and I'll skip some steps here and give you guys a much better version of this. First of all, let me tell you, we get two solutions from here. So I'm going to be writing both of them. One of them is going to be 29 minus 2 root 2 plus 2 times the square root of 102 plus 20 root 2 divided by 49. Obviously, the 49 comes from the fact that I rationalized the denominator. So, okay, so let me tell you this. Um, 
in this case, we're going to be getting, uh, first of all, what's the square root of 102 plus 20 root 2, right? If you actually think about it, you're going to realize that this is equal to, so this part is actually equal to 10 root, 10 plus root 2, okay? So that, that's actually a simplified version of that. So you're going to multiply that by 2 here. So you're going to be getting 20 from there. So that'll give you the following, 29 minus 2 root 2 plus 2 times 10, which is 20, plus 2 times root 2, which is 2 root 2, divided by 49. 2 root 2 cancels out. 29 plus 20 is 49. 49 divided by 49 equals 1. So obviously, r equals 1 is not an acceptable solution because as you can see here, r is going to be much, much smaller than 1. Okay, so we're not going to accept this first solution. We're going to go with the second solution. And the second solution is just a variation of this expression with a minus sign. And since we already know that the radical is going to be 10 plus root 2, I can just go ahead and write that and simplify from here. And let's see, r is going to equal 29 minus 2 root 2 minus 20 minus 2 root 2 all divided by 49. If I go ahead and simplify this, 29 minus 20 is going to be 9 minus 4 root 2 divided by 49. And that's going to be our answer. And you can also check the validity of the solution because 4 root 2 is the square root of 32, which is a little less than 6. So I can say like 5.5 maybe. If you subtract that from 9, you're going to be getting 4.5-ish. Let's say this is pretty close to 1 tenth. It makes a lot of sense. So that's the solution. That's the radius of the smaller or the smallest or the only circle. Thank you for watching. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, please comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And see you in the next video. Until then, you have a good one. Bye-bye.